Ready, Stace? Ready, Darce? Here we go. It's our big hit. Win! Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Stacy is the one who's always got my back. Yeah, Darcy's love life, that's a lot to unpack. True. Caring, sharing, every little thing that we are wearing. Custom 11, we've had lots of guy trouble that's well known. I've got a fiance and she's alone. Wow. All kinds of weather, we stick together the same in the rain or sun. We got tight faces, but in tight places we think and we act as one. Take it, Darce. Manifest our twin power. Scooter bapa dee bahada woo da 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 twins. Appa da 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 this show is just, it's cotton. No, she's not making cookies. Pancakes. Pancakes. That's it. It looked like a dog food. It, it was terrible. We're going to. Has she never seen pancakes before? We almost just jumped into this because it was so good. I don't think she has seen pancakes. Y'all, this is Darcy and Stacy. Season two, episode six. What's this episode called, Poodle? I didn't write it down. <laughs> An unwelcome return. Oh, that's right. That's what Poodle said when I came back from Oklahoma. <laughs> I know. Open the door. Uh, what the fuck are you I doing I knew this here? was coming, but I didn't know what the actual reality would be. Ugh, so gross. Y'all, real quick. You and my, you, me, my ex, some of you are waiting. Chomping at the bit for episode nine, which is kind of like that last dribble of cum yeah. that comes out of your dick. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good way. <laughs> I'm sorry if we just... Threw wow. you into that. Wow, that was a deep <laughs> welcome to our show. It's just, they didn't have, they really didn't have, they, they had more than an, a final extra episode, but uh, but that's coming later on this weekend. Yes. Um, we'll get that to you. We've been busy because y'all, we just announced we have a live show, November 14th. First live show, Reality Gaze Live. Yes, at Sunday night, November 14th. In the flesh. In Los Angeles at Dynasty typewriter. I'm going to be wearing something strapless with my shoulders out. I don't know what I'm going to be wearing. I don't know what are we going to wear. That's the last thing on my mind right now, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Maybe matching caftans. Mm, that's closer. You could wear one of your shawls. That's true. I don't know. I, I would say let's not get into matching theme wear yet. All right, I fine. think that's for my fourth act. <laughs> All right. All right. Which act are we in now? I'd like to think I'm in my second one, but I think it's <laughs> probably my third. third. <laughs> I think both of <laughs> So anyway, y'all, tickets are on sale. Um, if uh, are, They're on pre-sale right now for a, a Patreon and Supercast. So I think if, and so. And if you, you would have gotten an email or on Supercast, yeah. you would have gotten you, in the show notes what, the, what that pre-sale code is. So the uh, tickets for everybody else is going to come out on Friday. There's, now look, and we're not saying this to be scare tech. There should be tickets. We will say apparently the VIP is already sold out. Yeah. So, um, which is the meet and greet? It is. So this is a smaller venue, just because we couldn't get a lot of venues. Yeah. For some it. reason, the you know everybody's coming back. Everyone. In the world. Yeah. So even though COVID's not gone, don't get us no. wrong. It is all y'all. So it's also, a full vax. It's a show. fully vaxxed show. So if you're not planning on getting vaccinated, um, it's L.A. law, it's, y'all. It's, it's not. Well, it's not time for you to see our show. Basically, because, well, in Los Angeles, won't let us. Nope. So, um, but anyway, but that said, if you are in the L.A. area and you really want to go to this, I don't know how many tickets we're going to have left on Friday. Right. To be honest, so because we didn't plan it that way, it's just kind of the luck of the draw. So. Um, but no more dates will be coming. Also, if you don't have, if you can't, aren't able to get tickets, we were. Having shows in uh, New York and Chicago, probably in. We're already talking about that today. In fact, because our the, booker said you guys had good results the first yeah. days, so so hopefully in the spring we'll have some other shows to to be coming to. No a winter, city. winter, winter, spring, summer. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. What I say, spring, Gary. Um, Who's going to be Gary at the show? 
We're just, I'm going to call any tech person Gary. Okay, Gary. He's so, going to go, bro. Do I talk now? Do I talk now? <laughs> um, like, so anyway, silence, Gary. We're very excited. It's a cool thing. We're having uh, one of our winners from the contest. Is Both gonna, of our winners. Is going to be able, Eliza can't be there. Oh, that's right. But, one uh, of our contest winners. Yeah, we had two contests before we did the rename. One of them will be there. Yeah. So it's exciting stuff. She's going to think she's all that. She's all that. So anyway, y'all. And it's a gay guy. So, yeah. <laughs> Any other announcements? Um, I don't know. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> I had sex yesterday. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. And it's from an old favorite who we haven't, like Werther's original. Oh, yeah. But We're not like reason. Werther's because it's awful. It, I don't like the way Werther's makes my mouth feel. They're, I enjoy them. My father likes the sugar-free ones a lot. File that under it. things mm. no one ever needed to well, know. I'm glad you had sex with an old faithful. <laughs> Is that where you got your new bruise from? <laughs> On your leg? Truth be told, I don't know where I got this. Y'all, come at me if you know. bruise easily and... It looks like you wake up in the morning. It's like, did a ghost assault me? Yeah, that's poodle. <laughs> yeah, that's poodle. I do have a connection to the spirit world, so ghosts could be they could having be. having their way with me while I'm in my sleep. They could. Not gonna say. Mm, mm. Who knows? Not gonna say no. Anyway, I think that's it for the announcements. Um, yeah. Thank God we don't have a million fucking shows going on right now. We're almost getting out of show Mageddon. Thank you for Shumageddon. calling it that. Shumageddon. Why did you just say that? We should have been <laughs> using that the whole time. My specialty is branding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shermergooder. Or being branded. <laughs> Shermergooder. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're calling you, you it missed, from now on. You missed my dirty joke. No, I did. I just got so excited about <laughs> Shermergooder. From now on, when we get really busy, that's what we're calling it. Shermergooder. In Rodney's voice. All right. Schumacher, um, somebody messaged me and said that they were <laughs> they were at like an ice cream place and they were ordering with their kid and they said, "Ma'am, do you want any ice cream?" And she saw it and that I was thinking she went, "Sherbert." What <laughs> <laughs> an ice cream guy! I was like, "What the?" Fuck? I have found myself. <laughs> I will find my any word like Mergeladern. <laughs> Or any word that has a co- certain combination of R's and N's that I will immediately go, Infirmary! <laughs> and I will just say it out loud in yeah. Rodney voice. It's true. I don't know why. Don't know why. His, that voice is a joy Y'all for marry me. Y'all millions, Rodney. Up. He's coming back for season coming. three. Yes. We don't know if Desiree is is a no-show or not. Desiree. Des- Desiree. Desiree. I kind of want her to come back because she's ridiculous. <laughs> She's just she's just a cartoon. She is. Speaking of cartoons, y'all, Darcy is making pancakes and wow. And it, it's like she's uh first of all, she's never made them before. They're a mess. Y'all, you don't whip pancake dough this hard. It makes no- it tough. Do you notice that she's not even letting it get bubbles? No. Yeah. No. She's- I don't think she read I don't think Darcy has read the mom domestic book. I don't think about, she's no. I don't think also she's super domestic. Like anyway, she does Instagram. I don't see Darcy. Maybe Stacy a little more, but I feel like Stacy is the one. You tell me what you think. Who's the one that Google's things in this friendship? I think it's Stacy. I mean, family, sister. Like if it's Darcy and Stacy, and they're like, "Oh, what oh, is it? Where Stacey. do we go?" Stacy finds the direction. Stacy's Google. I don't think Darcy does that. Darcy just kind of Darcy falls decides head what, first into life. Well, I think Darcy maybe picks out like where they eat, yeah. where they shop, yeah, those kind of things. So um, where they get makeup, for instance, where they go to Turkey and get work done. Darcy <laughs> was that this episode, last episode when they so decide, much happened. They're going to Turkey for special surgeries only available <laughs> in the Bosporus. Um, yeah. And so they're they're she's making a dog's dinner for their kids, and she's like, "I'm really I'm really excited because Annika's Sweet Sixteen is coming up." Yes. Um. So she met y'all. Winter Wonder Wonderland. These pancakes look disgusting. They're, Sorry, we haven't talked about these yet. Now, do you notice we never saw the kids eat, eat them? them. <laughs> I don't think they did. She's like, "I made pancakes, chocolate chip." They know that mom. And Annika's like, "Thanks, I'd rather have a cigarette." And Thank go out you. Of my- <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'm going to vape for breakfast. We're going to go smoke. Appreciate it, Those though. girls are so cool. They're so, they don't think they smoke, but they are very no, cool. No, but it's that kind They're of thing. They're so cool. And so... Um, I wish I was half as cool as those oh, girls. for sure. So they are. She's excited. It's a one to one, one to one. Did you look COVID friendly? The, yes. The, I don't know how it's COVID friendly. <laughs> well, I guess we never, we'll never know. I know. I think it's because I think it's because she's not inviting a lot of people. So it makes it COVID friendly. Probably. I just find the term COVID friendly a little bit. A little I hard. bet. And we learned this later and I was right. If you would have asked me if Darcy is concerned about COVID, I would say, I bet she's terrified about it. Yep. Are we recording? I'm just making sure. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Just checking. Um. So, and they but, basically are talking about that. Oh, when the producer asked her, like, what'd you do for your 16th birthday? Well, uh, we um, we just kind of, we wanted a movie night with her dad. He so it like, tells you. He had to kill somebody that night. <laughs> so, um. He had to leave at like 12 in the morning. We were like, okay. He was in Kyrgyzstan that night. Yeah. And we didn't get what we wanted. Got there in some fancy jet in like three hours. <laughs> Apparently can't talk about it. I don't know. So, but they, uh, and, and she's basically like, I go, it's your day to shine. Your day to shine. Shine like a bright, like a diamond. Shine bright. Aspen, I'm going to have you a picture too. It's, it's okay. Y'all, That's what mommy does. Darcy is that mom. I'm going to say something. I don't know how you're going to feel about this. Yeah. And y'all parents come at me. I think it's important to teach your children that they don't always get everything all the time. Hundred percent, and I, I agree think with you. There's nothing wrong with celebrating one child. Now, maybe when they're like little bitty kids, no, 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 it's and they very don't different. Understand, but if these this, but, these like, children are fourteen, if you have a ten year old and, and years an eight year old, and an eight year old gets get upset it. that he didn't get a present when sissy Sally, sister Sally, had a birthday, yeah. He needs to learn. It's right. not his time. I I agree, and I she is speaking. I I have a feeling that um, this isn't something that she's thinking for her girls. This is something she always wanted when she grew up. Because maybe if Stacy that if Stacy got something, yes. Darcy wanted it, and um, vice versa, and vice versa, vice versa. Um. Yes, I I think that's where it stems from. Yeah, because They're, already she's having a birthday on Christmas. That's when she's born. Right, y'all. You know, everybody knows that Christmas birthday sucks. My uncle had his birthday was on Christmas, and he always he was always a little bit bitter about it. But you know what my grandmother did? Uh huh. Every Christmas, there was always she always made him a cream cheese frosting pound cake, or cream cheese frosting cake, uh, and we had it at Christmas, and that was his birthday cake. Aww. Yeah, he died of mesothelioma. <laughs> Sorry, it's not laughing. <laughs> Sorry, wow. Because he would during during the Vietnam War, they were they were taking down stuff uh, uh, with asbestos, and he got it in his lungs. Southern, Southern stories. Southern stories. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. He was wow. a great uncle, though. He was a welder. Oh, really? And also then became a, a caterer. He oh, was really? a welder slash caterer. Strangely, used the same name? facility. Jimmy? Stanley. 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 Had a big uh, barbecue in the shape of a pig. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there's, a lot to, there's a lot to unpack there. Mesothelioma. <laughs> By tar. Y'all, mesothelioma is horrible. It's horrible. And so if you see those commercials, it, it's, it affects a lot of people. And it's, it does. It's, and companies are just now starting to pay for it, so. Um, sorry. Wow. <laughs> we went there. Um, he was a uh, his his daughter is uh one of the uh, my cousin is one of the smartest people that I know. Are you close with her? Yeah. Oh, good. We we see each other when I go home. We don't call yeah. each other. Well, I didn't know. I have a cousin. Some cousins I call and talk to. Can't choose your family. It's not that I wouldn't. No, I'm just saying. It's no, just that I take very, you. I take very little interest in people in general. That's fair, <laughs> y'all. He only asks Honestly, how I am because I show up every day. I, I that's not true. You actually, I, I, I disagree with that. I don't really ask who you are, how, how you are. <laughs> Poodle won't admit it. He'll text me and be like, "Did you land?" I will, because I. That I, means you love me. I, I'm afraid of air disasters. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm afraid it's going to come back on me. You text me if I'm feeling sick, if I'm feeling better, too. 
Well, it is part of my business. So <laughs> anyway, he's like, "Don't die! I've got a live show to do, bitch." Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyway, y'all. Uh, so the, we are we're we're sitting there, and she's got two gifts. We we got to Georgie meeting his friend Ivo, who is hot. He is very attractive. Um, and he needs advice because, and Ivo says, "Darcy left, and that's not nice." Um and and Georgie says he, he wonders are you still engaged and Georgie's like I don't know I don't know I don't know um and so I was like yeah Ivo says that's not nice when I, I, right I and Ivo it. says he's not a materialistic person he's not chasing her now to be happy he's not trying the, chasing anything the pictures that I've seen of Georgie and his long furs. And his track suits. He has a lot of necklaces. Belie the kind of the materialism that I think. Now, if you know a lot of, uh, Florian's the exception to this, but a lot of Eastern European men love that, that whether they're straight, yeah. they love that. Kind of, Russian men especially mm. love like expensive clothes that shows oh, your wealth. Did you see this shirtless picture Georgie just posted? No. Oh my God. His body is pretty ridiculous. Oh, you're going to show it to me. God, y'all. I think of anybody we've ever covered, whose dick do you want to see the most? Of, of anyone we've ever covered? Yeah. Oh, my God. Boy, this is the... That's like Sophie's choice. You know whose dick I want to see the most? Andre. That's the penis I want to see. Really? I need to know if it is all bluster or that penis is thick. 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 <laughs> That's what he just posted. With three stays. Oh, wow. His body's ridiculous. It is. He's never shirtless a lot on the show. No, he even has, like, muscles on his side. It's just, y'all. Okay, why don't you go beat off in the closet? nice. Wait. You would rather see Andre's dick more than Micah Plath? You know, I, no. I, I, (laughs) no, no, I would, I would like to see Andre's dick more than Micah Plath. I think I know what Micah Plath's dick looks like. I think so, too. I agree with you. Yeah. Andre's dick is a mystery. Because um, we're dating a mystery. Oh, I said, okay. You went there and I went, equal partners in a mystery. That Indigo Girls song. Oh, did you just? <laughs> how do you know Indigo Girls songs? I know some Indigo Girls. How? I'm friends in, with Right, because they would listen to that, them. In college and then we'd get into it, yeah. I went to a couple concerts. What? I'm amazed when you know anything alternative slash folk. I like slash, Indigo Girls, but I play my lesbian music, and you find and you find it distasteful. Never. What lesbian music? Name it. You, you think you? I would say you call all my music lesbian music. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't I think good I though. I was listening to Phoebe Bridgers, and you're like, "What is this mopey lesbian stuff?" She's brilliant, Phoebe Bridgers. You guys, and is she mopey? Yes. Yes. But that's everything I love about her. <sighs> We're gonna get letters. I'm saying you you just justify you say that my tastes are lesbian music all the time, but they're not always. Well, I say that uh, really more as a I say that, but it's really a lot of lesbians that I know have great taste in music. They like seek out concerts more. I feel like gay men just want to go dance and fuck each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. And women that's what actually want to see good things and re- respect it. I don't get know. moved and have emotional moments in a concert where some gay guy's like going, oh my God, someone sucked my dick during Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> and that, like, you're never going to hear a woman say that. No, some a gay guy would go, oh my <laughs> God, I just got fingered during a Joel Sobiel acoustic <laughs> shit. I don't know what that last part meant, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> I like, just got Dutch Dord at a suit John at, Stevens. At, oh, God. Oh, my God. Those concerts are so hot. <laughs> Y'all. But tell me gay men haven't had sex at that concert. No, suit John Stevens is not that kind of concert. It's, it's like a, it would be like Kylie Minogue. That's what gay men yeah. would have sex at. Come. Suit John Stevens strangely does attract some, he attracts like kind of crunchy gay guys. Like, 
like the guys you're like into? Like me. And I'm not really crunchy. I'm I'm more alternative than a lot of gay guys, mm, I find. I think you're in the middle. Yeah. You could be a little crunchy. You like to be barefoot a lot. I love, uh, yeah. And I use, and and really, I use natural deodorant. And, and, natural, yeah. and you will get into like oil. Well, I do too. I do. Native. And I, and it's I, the best. And I'm all about organics. Organics. You just called reality gay. Except when you use lube. Native. I need the most, the most, like, made from dead dinosaur oh, stuff. I'm not mad at coconut oil. Uh, it can, uh, it's okay. Only if, if you're having sex with a big dick, coconut oil is the way to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be messy. But by the way, y'all, it's high in fat, so you're going to gain weight. You're, you're not... Coconut oil is fattening. I know, but you're not eating it. It's still going in your asshole. You're not going to absorb it. Yeah, you're absorbing the calories. This is incorrect. <laughs> this is... No, this is wrong information. We're not... I want to... If we're going to give oh, sexual health you. stuff... I got you. <laughs> let me say that again. You're Carl, not... we have to start... Stop using that butter for my <laughs> vagina. Oh, God. I think that's what's up in my cholesterol. I don't think people use butter to have sex. Hopefully Shooter. not. Shooter, go get that butter from the fridge and throw it away. <laughs> go on now. Butter. Butter. You know, the funniest part about that is she doesn't have sex with Carl. No, never. No. Hasn't in 20 years. No. Um, Even on his birthday. No. Oh, yeah. She just lets him climb on top of her and dry hump her. Y'all, she's just... She is just, she waits every night at 9 o'clock on Motor Trend to see Jay Leno drive some car <laughs> so she can have special time. <laughs> she does love Jay oh, Leno. Oh, she loves Jay Leno. Boy, that just got real for some Carl's <laughs> wives out there. Someone just turned and went, am I a Carl's <laughs> wife? <laughs> We're off topic. Um. So, anyway, they are uh, Darcy... Is driving. Oh, there we go. Dad's calling. Oh, Dad's calling. Got it. And he's like, "Yeah, Darcy, I'm gonna need you to park." Oh, oh, y'all. Oh. This gets really intense. Turns out the lady who came, who was doing the getting setting set up for the party. So obviously, the lady wasn't wearing a mask, or maybe um, not. Or maybe she maybe was. She, you maybe, but regardless, she tested positive. She tested for positive COVID. for COVID, and Darcy starts to lose it. Oh no! Oh no! She starts cry facing what I like to call turtle face. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, she literally goes, <gasps> and she does the sign of the cross. Maybe she they does. were raised Catholic. I I'm sure know. they were. So she does the sign. Of, she just starts praying. And the best part is, y'all, she's praying, kind of going, huh, huh, huh. and there's one eyelash that's just <laughs> hanging off in the corner. And we hate to make fun of this, and y'all, because I, I know it's real. It's only there because Jesus had left. Yeah. He said, well, keep your eyes. It is real, because this is very scary. Her father's older. Yeah. This was before we knew kind of more what was going on but, with COVID. We don't even know if they're vaccinated at this no, point. No. There's something about Darcy, though, experiencing this, that, that when she just kind of, there's a moment where she just goes, didn't expect this. <laughs> I Didn't just expect lost this. it. I mean, because I, it just broke the tension. Yeah. And she said, You brought this herb. She's like, I'm here. Even if you need me to sit in the driveway, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. And it's not, it's not funny. It's just she she's handling this the way she knows how, which is the way she lives her life. Yes. High drama. Um, and y'all, and I thought when this is happening, I went, This is happening. And she and Georgie's not there. This is not going to go good. I knew she was going to call him. Yep. Anyway, get so. Anyway, meanwhile, Stacy and Florian are cozied up by the fire. You know, we get silly. We got to get silly. We just they getting, do get silly. It's really sweet. And they're just what? eating Papa John's on a sheet. Um. Did you want pizza after this? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, just make it. I. <laughs> Walk around wanting pizza. Okay, okay. I wake up thinking about pizza. <laughs> you really do, actually. Oh. Is Even there an ever bad day pizza. when you don't think about pizza? There are days, but there are rarely weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so, and then, so Stacy's saying, gotta fold it, fold it, fold it. Like, fold and I thought about Jesse when she said, gotta fold it, gotta eat it like New York. Oh, yeah. And he was like, what? And the difference of Jesse was like, ugh. And Florian's like, oh, yeah. And Florian, I'll like, you, you see, say. he laughs, he smiles about it. Boo boo, boo boo. And she says, he's a boom boo boo boo. 
she takes it. I've decided we're going back to the doctor. We're going to check my A count. And so she tells Flory, she's like, thank you for being my rock. <laughs> she does say that. And I'm so thankful for you. So thankful. <laughs> he's, he's like, just, I he's, have your life. He's just sitting there, barely able to stand up. And Stacey said, you know, he's a family man at heart. And uh, she gets family, a family man. man. Yeah. And um, I no worry about window or door. <laughs> I neither. She window does, indoor. Window. She does say to him, and this is good. She says, don't tell me you're just going to be okay. I really need to know. Like, be honest. When How do you feel about God this situation? Close door. He opened the window. Okay. Uh, no, no, boo boo. Am I climbing out a window? Uh, and so Stacy says, Look, okay, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to become brought back. Y'all, I laugh so hard at this because Stacy comes out with like a pillow under her stomach and she's acting like her preg- she's pregnant. And Florian is literally there, and they're like, and she's like, "Want to pet? Yeah, pet baby." She's like, "Pet the baby," and then it kind of got a little sexual to me. She's like, "Want to feed the baby? Want to feed the baby? Yeah, feed the baby. Yeah, rub it in my face, rub it in my face." And so it, it was weird. Like, rub the baby, rub the baby, talk rub to the baby, the belly. talk to the baby. Here's my boo boo, my boo boo. They're very Here's cute together. You see why they? No, love, you get it. I, you, you get see it. See why they love one another. You get it. It's very sweet. Um. So the next thing, y'all, we are at, uh, we are at the, uh, we're at the Darcy's apartment. apartment. Darcy's apartment, and y'all, this is supposed to be a magical day. Supposed to be magical. It's, uh, my little girl, sweet sixteen, my daughter. My daughter I'm not there to the protect house. them. <laughs> yeah, she's like, we were really alone, <laughs> really alone, and I, I did something. I might not regret, might regret. Ding, ding, ding. And then y'all, Georgie shows up. Yeah, because it took a little longer to get to. Uh, yes, he shows up because he's been in Virginia. He shows up the door. What happened? We will tell you right after the break. I don't need a dozen roses. I just want three dozen. <laughs> like a lot of roses. That's like a lot of roses. She's like, wow, that's a lot of roses. <laughs> because something that Ivo does tell Georgie that we didn't talk about last time because we forget and we got on a whole tangent about fucking lesbian music. <laughs> um, Ivo's, Women's music. Ivo, why is one lamp on and one lamp off? I, I turned it on. Well, do you want this one on? No, it's fine. I just needed one to see by. Oh, okay. Because that's what happens, y'all, after 40. You wake up and you go, it's dark in here. <laughs> and it's sunlight. And everyone else goes, I can see fine. Everyone I, else, I don't know, like the, don't... the four 20 year olds in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, well, I can, I, they're like, oh, it's sunny. I'm like, well, I don't know where we can read in this dim lighting. True. Oh, Lord. True. Um, so they, of course, Georgie's there. Uh, and. He's, oh, but Ivo tells Georgie, if you really care about her, dude, fight for her. Fight for her. And Georgie says, I do fight for her all the time. I just <laughs> so that, I, it's I your just, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I, fight I do for fight for her all the I time. Just, I'm so exhausted, which is true. He's fucking tired, y'all. Being with Darcy is never a break. I can't imagine. It's never. I think I might. I think I might be able to spend an hour with her before I'd be like. Okay, let's get real here. None of this is like she, you're not really look at this you and way. Say, I love love. <laughs> she would never, because that is Darcy. I know. I just have to walk away. Yeah, I would just. Ugh. Yeah, she's this. I love her. Need. I could spend. I could spend a whole night with her. It'd be fun. So because this is when you get real Darcy, you get her drunk. That's true. And then you get real Darcy. Uh. So y'all, they immediately. They sweep production sweeps in there and says we're shutting down. Well, yeah, because he walks in there and they're just kind of talking and nothing really happens. And so, yeah, production sweeps in there. We're shutting down. So they had a potential COVID concern. They shut down for three weeks. You guys we're back. I kind of love this. I did too. Happened because instead of seeing this fight or whatever we see. And also it's like really poor Darcy. Like so much is being taken away from her. And she's like, we had a good time. 
my family. None of them got COVID. It shows them on a phone, like, celebrating Aniko's birthday. Yep. Um, they were taking home, home movies, I'm what sure. What I love about them, even though Darcy and Stacy are, and this is what I think is well-produced about the show. Darcy and Stacy, Darcy especially, are walking cartoons. Yeah. But then they, juxtapos- they juxtapose them, juxtaposition them. Juxtap- Juxtapose just, them. Just oppose them. They ju- juxtapose. Juxtapose them <laughs> with the real family. Yes. The real family we all have. That we're all, well, maybe my family's way weirder. Actually, yours is, you know, most most everybody else's normal families yeah. relate to this family. I don't, th- I disagree. I think most people have weird families. They just try to act like they don't. As weird as ours? N- rarely. Yeah. I, but mine, but mine would try to act like they were normal. Oh, mine, mine don't. You've met mine. Yeah, well, they're they're a specific breed. The, my mom's side, the Peterson side, does y'all. Yeah, your father's family is oh, a no, walking my, reality not, show. Not the Mars. Yeah, yeah. No, they're complete rejects. <laughs> they're not rejects. They're almost more. They're definitely misfits. Yeah, probably a better way to put it. Yeah. So. They're working out uh, on the beach, Darcy and Georgie are, and they're like, we didn't really talk about relationship very much, because of course she didn't, because even though that would have been the time. Except with everything going on with COVID and the Sweet 16, we just want to get through things. Y'all, I'm telling you now, it's just not a good, I don't know, I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's good to just get through things, do you? It's not. No. You got to deal with stuff and talk about it, even if you don't fucking want to. Even if it's during COVID. Even if it's during um, COVID. So, y'all, we're having a big dinner with Debbie and Raina and uh, and Darcy's got her bling on, This that, that military jacket. Oh, no, 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 no. You forgot we have a special guest. Oh, yeah. This happened before. Y'all, because... I'm going to go get a drink. Y'all, okay, you go get a drink. Y'all, we have a special... Because as we know... Christmas just happened, and so I know it's August here, but um, we have a special guest because we wanted to get some insights for, you know, Florian's here, and we yeah. wanted to ask Florian what well, his, Flor- we, and we've been seeing some, like, holiday, holiday stuff, stuff that, yes. what, what do we think about Christmas, Michaels, the we got commercialism, a by the Target here, I saw some trees already up, holiday stuff is and up, and we thought, I wonder, what's Christmas like for Florian? I'm gonna go get a drink, uh, okay. we can't be in the same room at the same time, okay. obviously. Okay. All right, and Florian, welcome to the show. Hello, it's so nice to be here. Florian. Uh, uh, yes. So, Flor- first yeah. of all, Florian, what does Christmas mean to you? Uh, Christmas? Christmas is, uh, in, uh, in Albania. Is it, you know, is it? No, is it is it uh, food? Do you my, have turkey dressing. My mother she cook onions for a very long time. Okay. Uh, cabbage, lots of cabbage. Okay. Uh, we you have gifts. We, we you have give gifts. Uh, usually, uh, very strong smelling chutneys. Okay, I love a chutney. What mm. is, What is your favorite Christmas song? Ooh. Uh. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin lay okay. the egg. That's not appropriate, Florian. Sorry, boo boo. Uh, so what? What, no. what? What did you? What did? Were you ever in a, a nativity recreation in 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 school in Albania? Uh, we don't have creation. No, we just pray to Mother Mary, Jesus Lord. Okay, okay. and we need to. <laughs> Uh, uh, she and she, she, she tells us no need to have all these things for Christmas with gifts. You need well, to about, go to church. Well, what you about go to when, church more? Well, what about when Santa comes on Christmas Eve? Are you fucking serious? Yeah. What about when Santa Santa doesn't come on Christmas Eve? Christmas is not about Santa Claus. You fucking idiot! Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking crazy? Here in America, he comes on Christmas Eve. No, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Who would want to have Christmas with Santa Claus? Christmas, Santa Claus come in New Year's. No, son, Christmas is for baby Jesus. Oh, okay. Christmas is for baby Jesus. <laughs> you fucking stupid. Okay. You fucking idiot. Okay, well, you I know. I don't get it. Maybe. 
So you got never heard of anything like some of these things. Okay. So Santa just come on, man. Is he dressed in red and he laughs and he has a big belly? You know what? You know what? This interview is over. Okay. This is fucking garbage. Okay. No, Santa Claus. He come in New Year's because that's what it's festive. It's fun. Come down the chimney, right? What the fuck with chimney? (laughs) You fucking stupid. He don't come down the chimney. He He come in the door. Oh, with the reindeer. Rides on the reindeer. What the fuck are you talking about, reindeer? He come in, he have a suit on. Oh, just a suit? Like no, a, it's a, just... Like a Brooks Brothers? What the... <laughs> no, have you never seen Santa Claus? Yeah, on Christmas he Eve. He comes in wearing white floor-length dress. Oh, okay. Like christening gown. Oh. He Christ, he's Santa Claus, christening. He's saint. Oh. You're not very religious, are you? Thank you so much, Florian. I gotta go. Bye! Oh, oh he, he, he missed it again. He went out of here. He looked, yeah, um, he looked pissed. And, and anemic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like anemic. He, looks like he needs a couple quarts. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, uh, from, the, from the room in there, he sounded like he had a lot of strong opinions about Santa Claus. He did. He really did. <laughs> Uh, I haven't really seen him get that that never that upset. Interesting. You can tell though. You could see that the the crew has fun with him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, very different Florian this season. I think it's being comfortable around the cameras more. Yeah, I possibly. just don't think he was, and that he got away with cheating on Stacy. Yeah. Boy, you know, don't forget. We know Stacy keeps talking about Darcy gets in his. He Florian kissed another woman. on cheated a woman on on in camera. her hotel room. In her hotel room. So who knows what happened? Yeah. Um. So now it's the dinner, but before the dinner, Darcy and J- Georgie are getting ready, and Darcy's like, "I just want everybody to have a loving feeling towards each other. Hash it out. Hash it out. Hash it out. Hash it out. Have a hash drink. It have hash a drink." When she says, "Hash it out," and Georgie remember, says, "I." Yeah. I don't want conversations. <laughs> I'm looking for a good time. Remember? <laughs> you know, it sounds nothing like him, but I enjoy it. <laughs> um, I want to know where this shit comes from. I'm kind of it's, okay with it. It smells. It smells. It smells. And Darcy's like, well, we should all be comfortable. Talk. So we got to talk about stuff. Because remember, Georgie denies saying they were American trash. And American yes, trash. And he says, he says, what the fuck? I would never. What they're trying to break us down, but also somebody I love shouldn't believe that I would right. say this. Darcy, I feel caught in the middle. Caught in the middle where he feels disrespected. And he said, just believing you think I say that. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, and so. And then Darcy immediately says. I don't know if you're in a bar or not. <laughs> She's been holding that for so, so long. long. And then he's like, well, fine. We go, to, we go to look for paper. And this is kind of great. Because I he loved gets it. kind of pissy. And he brings out a box. And she's like, well, we don't need to go through now. We don't need to go through no, now. No, I go find my paper. No. I go to find. We go, we know we're going to we to stay, take all night if we want to. Now, this is a, a mother poodle and a poodle boudreau move. If oh, I, I would. If I called Poodle out on something, I wouldn't be able to leave his apartment no, for three we're like, Oh, we're going to look at until it. Oh, three yeah, we're going to find until it. Until he finds it. Oh, we're going to find it. I'm telling y'all, three days I would sit here waiting for Poodle to find that divorce order. <laughs> and I would be terrified to even move from the couch until I found it. Yeah, no, you wouldn't know because we're, we're now now you called now you you called the bluff. Let's I'll see. I'll be it. honest. I'd shame you. I'd be that way too. Oh yeah. I'm like good for you, Georgie. This was great. Georgie he's like he's looking through the box and Darcy keeps saying, Well we don't go through now. It's fine. He's like, No, we've and guess what, y'all? He finds the final order. And she goes, Oh, good. Okay, good. And I was like, oh, do you want to, fr-? I would be like, oh, do you want to frame this? Can we shrink it down so you can carry it around in your purse? Do you want to laminate it? This, this non, this not being able to trust someone, you guys, comes right out of 
who the men she chooses. She chooses men with a hint of mystery about them. Mm-hmm. That seem a slight bit about kind of unattainable. And that's what she is drawn to. Yes. It's this, she, it's this classic pattern of what I'm drawn to, I get into it, it's and then I realize it's not what I need. Yeah. But that said, <clears throat> I – before we get into this dinner, because do you believe – you know, I'll save it. It's a good question for the end. Do the question for the end. So let's um, get into this dinner. So they're at this dinner – Darcy's got her blinged out military jacket. Yep. And they just jump right in. And basically, um, Stacy basically says, like, you know, Rain, Debbie's not coming because Debbie's not feeling well. This is strange because remember, she wasn't feeling well before. I don't believe Do we it. think Debbie's afraid of COVID so she's not coming out? Which is fine. If you yeah. are, then maybe they just don't want to say that. Right. I but know she, a lot. She's going to be on the phone. We're going to talk to Debbie. Or is she afraid of being in person with Georgie? True, but I think it's but, more of a COVID thing. But the last time they were at her house, at that Georgie wasn't around. Remember, Debbie was on the phone. Yeah, and she could not be there. At maybe it's like Stephen from You, Me, and My Ex. <laughs> His parents wouldn't let him out of the basement. When the money runs out, when the money runs out, he's gone. When the money runs out, he's gone. When the money runs out, he's gone. When the money runs out, when the money runs out, he's gone. gone. So Stacy, the money runs out, he's gone. <laughs> Stacy says, "I feel like I need some answers." She's like, I don't think Georgie takes responsibility Stacey for his still action. needs answers. And Randy says, Georgie's changed in my eyes. He seemed like a perfect guy. Georgie's it, changed it, in my it, eyes. Is he finding love or is he getting fucked? <laughs> oh, I get <care>, fucked. <laughs> yeah. Not even fucked over. And weirdly, though, Raina is the most kind of brilliant about all this. I see patterns that Darcy is choosing the same types of men. And I'm like, Yeah. Because he seems unpredictable, but again, so Dar- Darcy. Darcy's unpredictable. Um, she bought a she bought a Moscato to the house. She knows I'm like a Riesling after eight <laughs> Riesling. So Georgie says, "I'm not drinking anymore." But do you notice that Darcy comes up? She's like, "Oh, sorry, I can smell that bourbon from here." <laughs> yeah, she's like, "Hey, whoa, tipping it, are you?" So the. We, and we, it's not nor- weird. Georgie's like, it's a New Year's resolution. Yeah. Getting healthier. Yeah. And dry January. Dry January. Yeah. And. Do you do Thinking about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this January. Well, well, we'll be doing, hopefully we'll be doing some live shows, so probably not. <laughs> well, you can't drink during a live show. Before or after? You get one drink before to take the edge off, and then that's it. I need the real poodle. A Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> that's so gross you won't drink it. You're right. They're disgusting. Um, y'all, if you're a girl who loves a who loves a good Long Island iced tea in her twenties or now, you like to get slutty. You, got, you know what? In your twenties I can take but if you're in your thirties still getting a Long Island iced tea, you need to process <laughs> you need that. To process that. That's that's a red flag. But the, a Long Island iced tea says, "Give me all the liquor now, and give me all the dick later." Yep. I'm or, gonna, or pee. A Long Island iced tea says, "I'm going to make some poor choices this yep. evening." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Debbie, they talk to Debbie, and she's heavily made up for some reason. She's very made um, up, and she's facetiming, and they say, "Okay, Debbie, spill it, Te- spill it, Poodle." How did she say? She's like, George is like, tell me what you know. And she's like, well, I heard it. It's off of the third party. I thought it was off of the third party. Third party told me. Who told so, you? Someone, you know, Who it's, told it's, it's, you? It's a very, very reputable friend. Very okay. reputable friend. Can you say? Tell me. I won't because there was a very, very important. It may or may have not been a waiter who heard something at the party. This, Okay. This he makes was the no third sense. or fourth, th- th- third or fourth person. And George is like, so a friend tells you something from another person. A very that reputable was friend about me. A very okay. reputable friend. Okay. When the money runs out, he's gone. And then Debbie turns into, you don't like us anyways. You don't like us. You don't like us. You don't like us. And then Raina, that, Ra- Raina goes, and I heard that from a very reliable source. And George, you just like me. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, yeah, Fuck Ray, you. when she, Debbie said that was a very elaborate source, no one heard Rain actually say, Hick is me. <laughs> um, um, and Rain is like, if you don't like me, I don't care. Fuppin', fucking and Stacey's like, you know, Debbie's a really reliable friend. 
she would never, ever say anything bad of us behind your backs. Which I'm sure she just shit talks Darcy and Stacy all the time. And Darcy is sitting there crying. Stacy's like, what like, did you do Darcy's my like, sister? Ooh. And she's like, George is trying to defend himself. I never said this. It didn't go good. And at that point, Debbie goes, fucking listen. I did not make this shit up. I'm a woman of my bond, woman of my word. And all of a I sudden. Always, ho- hold on. Hold on. Do you take cash? <laughs> you take- Sorry, I'm at Costco. <laughs> hold on. Yes, I want, I, I, I want two TVs. That's the sale. Can you get, can you, can I, can I get, get another TV? Two, two for one. Yep. Those peanut butter pretzels are delicious. Thank you. And can, we, can, I, can I have three chickens while we're at it? I love the chickens here. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they, the, the crying starts. Y'all, next week is going to be the continuation of the dinner, obviously. It's true. Now, I have to ask, who do you believe? Based off of this. I. Due to the storytelling of where we're going. Mm -hmm. I'm believing I'm kind of siding with Debbie and Raina here. Okay. I think, though, I think it's not as cut and dry because I don't think I don't think Georgie said they are American trash. He probably said something like, well, there's so much, you know, much American trash around here or something like that. And someone Which heard them. Is... I, I didn't say he's wrong. Yeah. I didn't say that. Um, but I and Georgie will be right in saying I never called them that. I'm sure he's probably says the, said the phrase American trash before. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like a strange thing for them to make up. What do you think? I believe Georgie. Really? I do. Cause I could go either way, though. The reason I'm I'm a little more towards Georgie just because, but feel free to prove me wrong. Like, if you have, because it make me think. But so you I feel think- like every time Darcy and them have brought up something that they had a problem with, Georgie had a pretty good reason. Yeah. She wanted the order, the divorce order. He said, here you go. Right. Like he has been evasive though about a lot of stuff. He has been evasive, but like she called him on the house and he said, "My roommates don't want people with covid right. in here." So I think there's but I think it's what reason would they have to make it up though? What reason would Debbie have I to think make it up? I think they I don't think they just think I don't think they I don't think Debbie thinks Georgie's good for him, and that could be true or good for her. That could totally be true. Yeah. But I don't feel like they have a real reason. They just maybe have a gut feeling. Now the money and the sock thing. That, that never, doesn't bother me. That didn't bother me. And Georgie didn't. That didn't totally get explained away. But he did kind of make sense. Right. Either he's a really no, great liar. Everything he says as I, a rebuttal. That's what I think. Makes sense. I don't, I don't think. Where Debbie is saying, I heard this from someone I can't tell you. Yeah. Y'all don't accuse someone. No, if I agree. If you can't tell them, then... I think the, the thing about it is, is I don't think that he called them American trash regardless. I think it was something, if he did say it, it was something that was kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because then she said, she, it's almost like when he was saying this doesn't make sense. That's when she said, you don't like us anyway. Right. So then I went, ah, oh, there it is. I, I do think. Uh, I think he's judgmental. As I Debbie think he's. He's probably told Darcy that they drink too much. He probably They're said bad influences. And he probably called them American trash. Maybe he did, and then they looped it in. But with it. That's, not, he's not talking about Darcy and Stacey. That's what I think, and I think they assumed it meant all of them. But here's why: it sounds like something. George Hughes can be very judgmental, and he is does have this kind of. He looks down on yeah. on you yeah. can just tell yeah. Um, and there, it sounds like something he might utter when he sees women like Debbie and yeah. Raina, definitely. Um, but I don't think it's cut and dry at all. I, I think they are, they're blowing this way out of proportion for the show. Yeah. Like all of Darcy and Stacey. <laughs> and it's delicious. And it's wonderful. It's delicious. What happened to your eyes? I don't know. Mine were itching earlier. Y'all, that's the show. You can go that's to realitygazepodcast.com for all the information. That's where you can find any information about our live shows as well. Um, excited for a new a new chapter of our book. 
Okay. What would our book be called, Poodle? We're doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> By two queens. Same shit, different day. <laughs> All right, y'all, you can go. Hey, if you enjoyed this show, something you can do, go to Apple Podcasts and do what, Poods? Leave us a review. And if you yes. don't know what to write, write, keep going, Queens. Yes. I shook your screws like a shaker, like, yes. Jesus. <sighs> y'all, he get out of my house I was so just I can about eat to dinner. Say, he's about to say, get out of my house. Oh, I have a salad in your fridge. I'll give you, you your salad. Will you toss that salad for me? <laughs> Don't ever say, <laughs> talk about you and tossing a salad. <laughs> oh, you tossed a salad? Y'all, that's the show. Leave a review. We'll see you next week. Look, if you're looking for somebody to toss your salad, Poodle, what's the best way to get that to happen? You can manifest, manifest it. Manifest it. Manifest it. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord help the sister that comes between me and my man. <laughs>